that is pulses or uh, you can say nutritive value of the pulses or importance of pulses in our daily diet it is a direct question sometimes cereal and pulses to question on the cereal and pulses last class and this class will be one question 10 10 marks or 20 marks alone second ma'am dilip bhai te mute kor diyon tu apan background music oh, sorry 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 so pulses what is pulses then you can say the pulses are the edible fruits or seeds of the leguminous plants it can be grow in pots or come in variety of shapes sizes and colors different varieties of pulses grown around the globe and the major pulses are we are using in our de daily life that is daily diet that is you can say uh, arahar dal red gram uh, moong dal or uh, green gram black gram and uh, mm, black gram mungdal or green gram etc etc so that and another one is also bengal gram we mostly use this uh, red gram bengal gram black gram and green gram some pulses which are bengal gram green gram rajma soya bean dry peas are used as the whole grams and a legume another one is in this pulses we include legumes this legumes is a plant or the fruits of or the seed well known legumes includes you know that rajma as well as your soya bean which is, otherwise it is known as the milk meat and uh, these pulses which are the cheapest and this source of the protein which can be considered as a lifeline for the fast vegetarian population of the india and uh, another name it is also we know that it is poor man's meat apart from being the good source of the protein pulses are contains substantial quantity of the mineral vitamins and fibers all the red color uh, minerals uh, red color legumes or the pulses they are rich in iron and black color that is also rich in all minerals that is in, uh, your iron calcium and phosphorus also and white uh, color pulses that is also rich in uh, your calcium and as well as your phosphorus and all yellow uh, dals you can say your red gram and as of your arhar dal and otherwise sometimes it is also mixed with some of the kesari dal that is uh, all are rich in vitamin a or beta carotene then uh, Uh, amino acid composition of the pulses is a complementary to that of cereals and the mix that of the cereal and pulses which form the staple balance diet to the majority of the india indian population because instead of the milk we can take cereal as well as the pulses when you mix this thing one of the essential amino acid lack in the cereal and the, uh, another uh, that is your threonine and uh, which is uh, replaced by the or which is uh, complemented by the uh, cysteine sulfur containing amino acid which is present in the dal they both are mixed and uh, we get all the essential amino acid when we mix our cereal and pulses or you can say you take as the khichdi in your diet then you are saying that it is a complete protein then it gives superior biological value than i if it is taken separately it is the largest producer of the pulses uh, that is india in the world the common pulses grown in the country are chickpea or bengal gram pigeon pea or red gram black gram green gram lentil moth bean horse gram kidney beans and lactrius etc lactrius that is your kesari dal but it is very um, now it is not advised by the indian council of medical research due to this uh, because it causes the lethargy uh, which is dangerous it is a health problem 
so it is not advised by the um, icmr to consume in in our diet so the word pros originated directly from the latin pros meaning thick gruel or puris that's why we can also conclude in such a way that our pulses which are considered as a super food because they are a good source of protein rich in mineral and b vitamins low in fat gluten free as well as it is a source of the dietary fiber so nutritive value of the pulses uh, it already i have told you it is rich in protein usually pulses contain 20% of the dry weight of the seed some legumes contain up to 40% of the protein that is soybean that's why instead of the meat we take soybean our meal maker in our diet then second carbohydrates food pulses contain 55 to 60% of the total carbohydrates including starch soluble sugar and fiber etc pulses give 340 calories per 100 g which is almost similar to the cereal calorie value already you have studied 100 g of cereal gives you 320 to 360 kilo calories in, uh, 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 calories in our diet then lipid generally pulses contain about 1.5 percent of the lipid except groundnut and soybean minerals Pulses are the important source of the calcium, phosphorus, zinc, iron, and potassium, and vitamins, which are rich in niacin, thiamine, folic acid, pantothenic acid, that is another B complex, and vitamin C also. You actually, when you are taking it in the dry state, you will not get the vitamin C, but when you are taking the germinated, that is Bengal gram or green gram, uh, you are uh, germinating it you are getting vitamin C they are poor in riboflavin and carotin and uh, dry legumes are almost devoid of the ascorbic acid that is vitamin C so this this is the nutritive value of the pulses per 100 gram already have discussed that is single gram protein 17.1 and carbohydrate 60.9 and your energy value is here 360 kilocalorie so most of the times in our diet i made you put a little bit of 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 a little bit that is puttana i mean you that come to puttana kari api i mean you tell bengal gram to use it is most of the time used in user south india now that is uh gives you 369 kilo calorie black gram urodda but upon the bd yoga 347 kilo calorie coffee 323 kilo calorie only um, peas you have to remember this is the one of the important uh, dal we include in our diet that is uh, 298 kilocalorie and rasma also in the north india that is that gives you the 260 kilocalorie and soybean that is uh, as a vegetarian diet or you can say it is the vegetable meat that gives you 240 kilocalorie Then processing of the legumes and pulses, uh, that is, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I just give, uh, though it is not in your course, the processing, still I ask to the, ask my, some of the guides who told that you have to write some of the few points about the processing while write cereal and legumes or pulses, you have to go for some in few lines about this processing also. So this processing of the legumes can be done by four methods, one is decortication, then soaking, then germination, then another one is your know, fermentation. So before going to uh, decortication, that uh, only two lines we have to remember and its advantage. In each processing, we have to remember only two lines and advantage without going to in any details. 
So decortication means the removal of the seed coat is known as decortication. A number of methods are available and a simple method is to soak the seeds for some time. The hogs takes up the more water. Then uh, generally, I mean, Bengal grammar would have done a nick and the city for Botriki Rocky do day. Tara Kitchi Samogore, Tatu Padame, or Tiki Mane Norong Hijiko, Tapra Metacus, Takuame Hawks Coke, Sir Hawksta Botrigolapre, Metacu, Mahapere Mane Rock Kurki, Taku Kanji. So you can uh, write it is uh, soak the seeds for the short time. The hawks takes up the most water, more than the seeds, and that may be easily separated by rubbing while still moist. The soap grains may be dried and the hawks removed by pounding or winnowing. Then roasting is also another method of separating the hawks from the seed. Generally, it, we do it with the Bengal graph. So why do we do with this thing? Because it increases digestibility. Helps in removing the anti-nutritional factor. Third is your remove, uh, improves the appearance, texture, cooking quality, as well as the palatability, and it also reducing our cooking time. Then we have to do the dali ko dali kariba purbo. I am just that fix some bottle. They tell all the nutrients that will also um, uh, uh, which is present in, in the hops that will result into the uh, alluvial layer. And it will be to the taste also. And cooking time is also will be less. Then soaking. Soaking in water is the first step in most of the methods of preparing the pulses for consumption. The pulses absorb water and increase in size during the cooking. Some water soluble nutrient to leach out that is into the water that is your vitamin B complex. And the water can be used in cooking to minimize these also losses. Advantage, soaking makes the pulse tender due to water absorption and it reduces the cooking time also. Third, is your germination. Uh, most of the uh, breakfast diet uh, is the uh, mundal or you can say green salad. At that time, you are using the green gram uh, by germination. So whole regions are soaked in water for about six to eight hours. The excess water is drained and drains are wrapped in a wet muslin cloth and placed in a basket and covered, allowed to germinate for 12 hours or more. Water is sprinkled twice or thrice a day because humidity and warmth are essential for germination. The more, most popular preparation of made from the germinated legumes are green gum, salad, you are saying, or it is also used for your dressing of the salad. One of the most, uh, 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 it is rich in vitamin C also, and it is uh, usually we uh, recommend for the uh, diabetes person, person uh, for easily digestion of the protein also. Advantage, it reduces cooking time, starches and proteins are converted to simpler substances, thereby improving the digestibility and availability of the nutrients. Vitamin B complex and also vitamin C content increases due to the germination. Germinated pulses are variety to the diet. Germination imparts sweet taste, soft texture. Hence, the sprouted legume like green gram can be consumed raw or slightly cooked. It does not produce gas or flatulence. Disadvantage the nutrient loss may take place if the water in which pulses are soaked is not used. Over sprouting may result in the unpleasant flavor of a smell also. Then fermentation. Fibin is an example of the fermentable pulses. Some fermented products of the serving are soya sauce, soya bean paste, and tempo and natto. This is natto. Advantage, it increases the vitamin C and vitamin B complex. It improves the texture and flavors of the product, increases the digestibility, palatability, and nutritive value of the product. Toxic substances can be eliminated by the fermentation. It also imparts specific aroma and taste of the product, and it makes the product light and fluffy. As storage, disadvantage, if you store for a longer time, it may 
uh, locks in the all vitamins and minerals which is essential for the um, uh, which is present in the soil. Then use of the pulses in cookery. It is uh, first of all we are using it for the thickening. Thickening agents give body consistency and palatability when used. They are used as the thickening agent to prevent curdling. That is Bengal gland four in the body, pithila and vegetable vegetable curries. Then binding binding agents are also used to form a mixture of ingredients into a cohesive mass. They are used in the dessert, potato and mirchi bhajia. Bengal gram four is also used in the preparation of the leafy vegetables and sambar body. This is the, some of the uh, methods that is dal making process developed by the Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra method one and uh, method two uh, that is at Maharashtra also. It is the uh, Indian Institute of the Pulse Research which is not necessary but it is for a common sense I have given here. Then third one is your coating. It helps to keep a coating to the food item and prevent them from disintegrating. Bengal crumb flour is used in preparation of the fried groundnut snacks, fried peas, potato vada, paneer pakoda, mushroom pakoda, and chocolate, etc. Then flavor dispersion. Pulses improve the flavor and consistency of dal. Some amount of dal is added in masala powder, which helps in uniform dispersion of the flavor in the preparation like the sambar. Garnishing. Seo is prepared from the patient which is used for garnishing pani puri, poha, upma, seo puri or mesal. Then anti-nutritional factor of pulses under elimination. These factors are natural chemical, uh, chemical compounds which reduces the bioavailability of the vital nutrients. These are generally found in legumes and pulses. Details of the anti-nutritional factors and their elimination techniques are given in the table. Suppose the anti-nutritional factor, one is lecithin, that is uh, which reduces the bioavailability of the nutrient, which is due to the direct action of the lecithin on the digestive system. Uh, where it is present actually? It is present in lentil, pea, Pigeon pea and rice pea. Detoxification technique, preliminary soaking prior to the autoclaving cooking is necessary to prevent the uh, chemical name is your polyphenol, which is responsible for the low protein digestibility and decreased amino acid availability. It is generally present in the cow pea. Cheek pea, pigeon pea, moon pea, urod pea, and pea. Then tannins mean uh, this detoxification. How will you do? It actually mainly present in the seed coat. So that this uh, debulling uh, can produce the tannins. But dehuxing, we are doing this thing. At the time, tannin will be removed. Then uh, protease in inhibitor which inhibits the activities of the proteolytic enzyme that is your generally which helps in your digestion of the protein. So pigeon pea, kidney pea and lentil, cheek pea. The protein present in the um, pigeon pea, kidney pea and the lentil or cheek pea, uh, this protease inhibitors will inhibit the activity. So uh, you can heat it, uh, germinate it or autoclaving and soak it. Then phytic, uh, phytic acid, which also affects the mineral bioavailability of the uh, 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 all the process. That is your Chinese legume, pea, pea spree, then dry pea, lentil, and black bean. We can it removed by the phytic acid by roasting, germination, soaking, and cooking. Then lactic acid. If consumed in excess quantity for a long time, it can cause paralysis in the legs. That is the due to the uh, lacrosis or you can say in Kesarida. So soaking, parboiling, roasting and germination. Now it is banned in India.
then saponin saponin reduces the nutritive value of uh, pulses that is uh, it is present in your cheek pee moon pee and pellet and the uh, pigeon pee also so you can remove it by soaking germination and cooking then another one is anti nutritional factor or because it acts and we can digest it generally that's why we can it remove by soaking then toxic constituent in pulses some pulses contain chemical constituent that have toxic properties that is your trypsin inhibitors they are present in the red gram bengal gram cow pea double bean soybean and dry peas trypsin inhibitors are the proteins that inhibit the activity of the trypsin in the gut and interfere with the digestibility of dietary protein and reduce the utilization then lactogens which is a nervous stages that cripples mea it is known to result from the excessive consumption of the pulse or kesari dal which that is the lactic satiety the symptoms of the lactogen are muscular rigidity weakness and paralysis of the leg muscles then hemoglobin these are the proteins in nature which occur widely in leguminous seeds hemoglobin reduces the food intake resulting in the poor growth then another one is your saponin these are present in the soybean this causes nausea and vomiting and this toxin can be eliminated by the soaking prior to cooking so when we milk make up the kind of pani rakho gude ki ba garam pani ke taku boil kari ki se pani ta kopadu ta par jai ke ame we use that milk make up then goiter gel this substances interfere with the iodine obtained by the thyroid gland they are present in the soybean and groundnuts excessive intake of these foods may lead to precipitation of the goiter then tannins they have high amount of seed coat in the most legumes tannin binds with the iron irreversibly and interfere with the iron absorption tannin also binds protein and reduces their bioavailability this toxic constituent can be removed during the processing and also cooking then these are the forms of the process the pulses they are whole legumes dicritically split legumes with the without skin germinated or fermented pulses flour pulses and pulse pulses like the bengal gram and peas so international year of the pulses it is 2016 In December 2013, the United Nations General Assembly voted unanimously to declare 2016 the International Year of the Pulses. Then, soybean, as it is the poor man meat, it is famously a uh, substitute of your meat. Uh, so, it is a rich in high protein content and is considered as a substitute of meat protein, which is expensive. Soybean has 42 grams of protein per 100 gram of the product. It, uh, I think, it gives also 280 kilocalorie enough. Then soybean can be processed to obtain the following products: that is, soya flour and soya meal. Nowadays, this herbal food also available in the market. That is, in the name of soya meal, instead of the If you are not, you if you have intolerance of the lactose or intolerance, you can take soy milk. Yes, ma'am. It is called tofu. Uh, tofu. Yes. Ma'am, uh, I have one uh, doubt. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah, ma'am. Uh, can milk be replaced? Uh, can milk protein be replaced with this uh, soy protein completely? Yes, yes. So generally now it is for the weight management. All the uh, weight management schedule, those who are uh, making uh, the diet for the weight management, they are advised to uh, advise the patient to take the uh, soya milk instead of the uh, cow's milk. Okay, ma'am. Uh, okay, ma'am. If uh, I'm a vegetarian p- person, I don't consume eggs as well. So, uh, so. Uh, Is it okay to have only soya protein? 
no uh, no sir i will not advise because uh, in the vegetable itself uh, being a nutritionist we will not advise to take the vegetable protein okay if you okay. are going uh, in uh, once or uh, twice a week you have to take the vegetable milk with the animal uh, some of the animal milk also. yeah ma'am even i heard that uh, that's why i wanted to clarify that yeah. we that, uh, all the nutritionist nutritionist never uh, they will suggest to take the soya product okay Only you can substitute instead of the if somebody has the lactose intolerance for it suppose some of the person is going for the surgery and or some of the operation at that time so lactose intolerance uh, develop uh, they can consume milk at that time due to the that uh, flavor of the your lactose सोया मिल्क But it is not the permanent because and it will not also heal completely because it is not uh, having all the essential amino acids. Oh, it's not a complete protein. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So soya milk, the milk is prepared by the two two point ten point six roll of process in cooking, grinding, soaking, being with the water. It is a uh, only processing. You can take a substitute on it. It is then passed through a main in stream of water. The emulsion that is obtained is filtered and transported to the boiler and mixed with the bitter and nice margarine to be sugar, salt, calcium, and malt are added. Actually, soy milk we have fortified with this thing. The mixture is cooked for twenty minutes. Then it is ready for your drink. Then to cook, it can be used like a paneer in various preparation. Then textured vegetable protein which is prepared using deep-fatted soya flour from which most of the oil and carbohydrates are removed. It is quick to cook with the protein content compared to cotton certain uh, meat. Then soya protein isolates. It isolates our protein granules isolated by processing. It is fortified with the vitamins and minerals and used as a complementary food. Then soya grains. These are made from the lightly toasted soya beans that have been ground into the coarse pieces, and this toasting brings out their pleasant, fluffy flavor. So, other uses of the process that is part of the vital wave of the biodiversity, foster sustainable agriculture and soil protection, unexpectedly against climate change. Then, role of process in the cookery. It is rich in protein and B vitamin and improves the quality of cereal protein. Pulses give satiety due to the high protein and fiber content. It improves the flavor, consistency of dal, sambar, and rasam. They contribute to fermentation in idli and dosa batter. They are used in the snacks like sandal, bhaji, etc. They are used in salad, yeah, sprouted gram. They are used in the desserts like dal payasam and sweets like moisture bath and ladoo. They are used as thickening agent, Bengal glam flavor in gravies. Then roasted pulses are used in chutneys and chutney powders. They are also uh, useful in our uh, daily uh, um, uh, daily cooking practices. We use in our daily dietary habits. Then health benefit. Good to your heart and low risk of the diabetes and high in protein. Good source of the folate and pulses can help to maintain the loose weight also. Pad oil seed body weight. Ma'am, I have a question. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, actually, uh, in OS, uh, one question uh, asked. 
uh, explain the importance uh, and uh, composition uh, and nutritive value of pulses. Uh, so, in composition, what we should write for that? Ma'am, uh, composition in here, yes, it is uh, one of the slides here. Nutritive value of the pulses. Protein, fat, carbohydrate, energy, calcium, phosphorus, and iron. Okay, ma'am. Uh, in that, uh, can we mention the uh, chemical composition also, like with formula? No, no, no. no. It is not necessary. Uh, actually, it, uh, I will give you a notes uh, that is in Word file. Mm -hmm. I okay. just sorted it here for your ten marks only. These slides are uh, made for the 20 to, ten to twenty marks. Okay. Okay. Uh, but I will give you the note of sixty marks. Okay, ma'am. In Word file, I will give you. I switched okay. it here according to the question. Okay. Yeah, that will help, ma'am. Yes. Uh, in uh, detail, I, I will give you the notes. Okay? Okay. Ma'am, okay. in importance, what do you mean by? Um, uh, ma'am? In importance, what we should write? Actually, importance of the dal in cookery, actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Health benefit and cookery. Okay? That okay. I have given you one slide. Pro okay. Processing also you have to write. Uh, I asked uh, last time somebody asked me. Uh, it is uh, not in our course or the co question is not about the processing of the cereal. So I mm -hmm. uh, asked one of my guys. She told me you will uh, write two to three lines because it is in the uh, because it's the food science. Uh, you are going to uh, the question is on the importance of the cereal or the importance of the dal in your diet. So you have, uh, without processing, you are not taking the whole dal, okay? Right. Or whole cereal. So you have to go through it, but not in all. So that's why I have written here decortication only the two points and uh, some of the advantages. Two advantages. Okay. Yes. Like and important uh, here, uh, you yeah. uh, use of pulses in cookery. This is the your importance, okay? You can use it for the thickening, binding, then uh, coating, flavor dispersal, and garnishing. Yes. Yeah. And uh, and for health benefits also we can uh, mention. Yes, you will also write your health benefits. Okay. And so, one in one. One more question. Yes. Uh, Suppose uh, in uh, exam uh, they have asked like how to store the like pulses like we can um, mention like how we can store the pulses. Okay, ma'am. Actually, in the, during the one of the unit, in I think it is in fourth unit or five unit, fifth unit. Okay, ma'am. Spoilage of the food. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Uh, during that time, I will uh, show you how to store your uh, food grains. Okay. So, ma'am, uh, when asked about the composition, uh, we should mention the percentage uh, value as well. That's why I have given you only two to three lines, ma'am. Detail. Uh, if you will go through the detail notes, uh, you will find it. It is uh, two to three pages. Okay. I minimize okay. here composition. That is a uh, uh, protein. This is twenty percent in rice and forty percent in the soybean. Okay. Ma'am, uh, while talking about uh, one of the importance, uh, you mentioned that proteins help in uh, weight reduction as well. Yes, so, yes. Uh, how does it help, ma'am, uh, reducing okay, weight? Also, uh, protein uh, does not, carbohydrate gives you the energy, okay? Right. Protein maximum is uh, uses your uh, for your Mus protein. Right. Uh, protein of bodybuilding. Right, muscle building. Muscle, right. Uh, body building, body repairing, and uh, maintenance. Protein is protein and vitamin is for your body building and maintenance also to some extent. But okay. vegetables and all the fruits are the, only the maintenance food. Okay. Right. So as it is low in carbohydrate, uh, if you are not taking the carbohydrate in some that is in sufficient amount, then this false protein will work for the carbohydrate. Right, okay. Right. So, so that yeah. is the protein sparing action, but you should not give a scope to your diet that instead of the carbohydrate, your pulses should not or, or your protein food should not use for your uh, for giving the energy. 
Okay. So, uh, carbohydrate, what is your requirement for day? That you should have to take. Otherwise, if you are not taking the, now it is a fashion, you have to take the low carb food. Right. Low carbohydrate food. So, it is a very wrong concept because once you take the low carb food, uh, instead of the carbohydrate, uh, pulses will act for the uh, energy giving function. Right. So, uh, you have to take, uh, only you have to lower your energy. Yeah, value of the food. Okay, so, the carbohydrate. so ma'am, uh, you meant to say uh, the protein content uh, or the uh, that is there in the pulses that will be used for the energy creation. Uh, if you are not taking the carbohydrate, carbohydrate food, okay. if you will take carbohydrate food which will uh, require for your uh, energy or it will function mm -hmm. for your energy giving, at that time the pulse will work for its own work. What is that? That is your body repair, body maintenance, body building, body regulation, regulation right. of the all activities. Then you will not gain the weight. But if you are taking the uh, cereal, uh, high carb uh, cereal as well as the high pulses cereal. High uh, uh, protein cereal, uh, right. pulses. Okay? At that time, uh, your excess energy will be deposited in your adipose tissue. As a fat. Yes. Okay. At that time, you are going for. Sethi pay kono chhi na. Ame aaj kali jo nutrition man dau chadi low carb food jo da kua hoychi. Man actually high fiber food. Basic vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetables are just mental. Asar high carb fiber. Man jo thre fiber adhi ke apna kora hoychi. Right, okay. 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 Instead of the cow's milk, because that's the basic fat, right? That's the fat combo. Okay. Okay. So, the herbal life product is uh, protein powder. Uh, protein powder. Uh, protein powder. Uh, 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 right. Okay. 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 The water is for the weight management. Okay. So, madam, uh, upon Jim, the college is no human agent, animal protein, Jim, the Nebakota. Other complete. You know, they manage kitchen and kitchen, manage your body repair, Tamana hypergony, building Tamana hypergony. Oh, you will also be weak. Okay. When I eat up one day, hypergony. Uh, if anyone have any questions, sorry ma'am, actually I have went a uh, little bit outside. So if anyone have any questions, uh, you can ask ma'am. Uh, I think uh, ma'am will also take uh, class, I think, uh, in the coming days also. Uh, Tomorrow also I will take uh, class on the oil seed, nuts, and the, your uh, sugar and honey. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay ma'am. So, I think uh, if anyone has... Is that clear if you have a question? Yes, ma'am. I think 10 pages word file the student will make their own notes. I can go for the correction. Okay. Yes, okay. Okay. Okay.
केपी टू सेटअप स्टार्ट करें मैम आंसर राइटिंग एक्चुअली दिस स्लाइड आई प्रिपेयर फॉर योर क्लास ओनली एंड द होल नोट इज आई विल गिव यू टू दीपक सर दीपक सर विल मेक सम चेंजेस ऑफ समथिंग एंड यू विल प्रोवाइड यू द नोट ओके दिस सम क्वेश्चंस आल्सो यस यस आई विल गिव यू द क्वेश्चन टू द क्वेश्चन आई थिंक इट इज द डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन दे आर आस्किंग दिस ईयर आल्सो दे हैव पुट सम डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वेजिटेबल इन योर डाइट actually uh tomorrow uh, maybe uh, the same time or ma'am will tell so we will uh, uh, discuss uh, same time same time ma'am yes yes okay ma'am so sir, i have one doubt sir yes sir sir yes sir uh, so 30 seconds sir yes. sir one question is the the role of village level institution in developing a rural india is it belongs to the home science and of which which operatives sir 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 question once again ah uh, discuss the role of uh, village level institution okay in developing rural india okay yes extension it is it is in Okay. Sir, senior extension education. Ma'am, voice is not clearly audible. No, present, present. Uh, okay, your okay. voice is present. Your voice is breaking in between. So that's why I'm told that uh, it is in the chapter. I think. Uh, okay, okay, sir. Extension education. Extension education. Community development. Third is in community development. Yes, yes. Extension education. Ha, program plan. Okay, okay, ma'am. thank you yes ma'am so we have uh, miss uh, don for the day so thank you so much ma'am and thank you everyone so maybe tomorrow at the same time we can meet a uh, once again so we'll discuss for that topic thank you everyone and thank you ma'am also okay so we uh, now okay. we can uh, close the class thank you Thank, thank you all. sir thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you ma'am